Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my Marvel reviews of toys, and today we are reviewing Marvel Superhero Mashers, Mashers, and it is a double showdown with including, if you haven't got this, please like it and subscribe the video, tell me if you have this, Spider-Man 2099 versus Marvel's Rhino, so we're going to check out the figures now. So, as you can see, I've already unboxed them. I just made a, a previous video with these guys, but it lasted really long. So, I decided to cut them down because I filmed them getting out of the box. They're really tight in. Uh, these guys are really tight, um, which is great. So, they're not too tight. You have to... His head is a bit loose. I don't know, but they're, it's a normal looseness. Uh, his horns are bent, which is quite nice design. I, his face is weird. But I like how you can actually still see, I like how you still see the nose. You can actually still see the nose under that Batman-ish mask, Batman type of mask. As you can see here. So it's quite nice. Uh, it has a metallic blue silver paint on, which is quite nice. Uh, the foot has like a whole thing here, so normal ones do. Um, he is back has two holes there which you can place uh it still has wires on his helmet uh it's quite nice spikes on his shoulders pretty neat uh there's an another mini spike there so yep that is the marvel's rhino uh the other hand is actually a type of knuckle duster which is pretty cool here as you can see um the whole this this thing so you push that back and you push that forward and it it goes forward Quite, it's quite glitchy. It's quite weird. So yeah, but that's that's that. Yeah. So that is the Marvel's Rhino. His accessories you get one, two, uh, three, four. Well, these and Spider Man Twenty Ninety Nine's one are different. I like these for Rhino because they're much more sharper, but it looks better with the square things. So yeah. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, and we have five and six. This thing is a shooter. This does go, let's see how far this goes, and go. So it goes all the way over there, as you can see. We'll go grab that. Uh, yes, so that is the Marvel's Rhino. We might, we'll put all the bits together, suit together now. So guys, there is the Marvel's Rhino with his accessories on, so the spike just clips on there with a stick. Uh, the axe, he can just slide in his hands, they're the purple things. Yep, uh, the shooter, as you saw, the knuckle duster is out. The knuckle duster is part of his hand, and that just clips on. You can also make him hold that as well, the gun. Looks like War Machine right now, but you know, yeah. So we'll put him to the side, and we'll check out Spider-Man 2099. Woohoo! I think he might be my favourite. So here is the classic Spider Man 2099, the blue suit one, not the white suit or the symbiote 2099 suit, uh, just the classic one. I like the body mould design. Uh, he is really tight, which is great. The head is like the rhinos, but a bit tighter. Um, the rhino actually has a shake though, as you can hear, but I've been playing with him, so he suppose goes like that. Or a bit of plastic is inside. So, as you can see, it looks like he has an arrow all the way down to his arm. I have not noticed that, but I'm loving that design. Looks like an arrow just goes right through his arm. Uh, this hand is removable. It looks like he's doing the web thing. Um, his other arm has the arrow. Well, the fist uh, le um, mode. His legs uh, have no red design on there. His back has no design. But it has the same things as the Rhino. I don't like those stick out, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I like his skeleton design. It's not, it's like the same classic one, just a bit. Uh, they should have made it stick out. That's just sticks out because the body mold is already like that for the packs. Uh, his face mask, the red thing, is my favorite bit. This does stick out, which is great because. Um, it really gives it more effect on it, which is awesome, actually. I really like this. Uh, we'll check out his accessories now. So, you do get a flying board, which I thought it was, but it was actually a skateboard. With The web design is really cool. 
Okay, so that is the skateboard here. Uh, the wheels are not movable, which is quite disappointing, but when you ride it, it can sort of turn. So it looks like it's actually going. It feels like it's going as well. You can do it really lightly. Uh, here's a curved web, which comes out of his under his uh, or on the above it, like the symbiote does. Uh, you also get those horn things, like I showed earlier, which go on his shin, not his knee. Um, we get this, which is a classic, like, Easter egg, but in a toy. Because, um, uh, tw uh, at the end of Spider Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, Spider-Man picks Webb's a sewer top thing, and he spins around and dodges all the bullet, and just before he throws it, it ends with the boring word thing. But I like this design because it's so realistic. Uh, the web really curved. Um, it's not stringy or anything. It's, it's proper hard plastic. Uh, as you can see, this is not connected to this. It looks like this one piece is connected to each other. Um, and here is the arm bit, which is another arm. Uh, the web is coming out of there, and it looks like it's a proper spider spitting out webs. And this is the back, so we'll build Spider-Man 2099 now. As you can see, this web thing is a gliding thing. This does just clip in the back of those holes, just to mention that. So as you can see, here is the Spider-Man 2099, which looks awesome, guys. Uh, as you can see, he is webbing from the top bit. Um, and this one's the under the wrist. Uh, his back wings just plug into the whole things like that. Um, his skateboard has to go that way, uh, the knee or the shin spike things. I really liked, like, those spike things to go above his hand, but then there's, I suppose you put webs there, so, um, I would like to do that, but, yeah. Um, we're gonna put the alternative arm on to see how that looks. So as you guys can see, I've used the web on this hand now. You can swap the webs and other accessories and different arms. Um, this web is not removable. I love the spider, though. That That is just amazing. I don't know what this bit is for. I suppose you can clip it on the rhino's back so it looks like he's swinging him. So there you go, guys. There are the Spider-Man the Spider 2099 versus the rhino. Um, there we have, guys. As you can see, we're just going to do a quick look around. Looking pretty awesome, guys. As you can see, it's a wavy web. There, them from the top. There's the packaging again. From the back. Uh, there you go, you got that arrow thing. It doesn't go round, though, on his other side. Uh, like I said, I would like the spikes on his this bit, like the Batman Beyond. Uh, some people do videos about Batman Beyond versus Spider Man 2099, which is kind of weird, I suppose. They're not in the same t DC. Multiverse is the dog. Um, okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and especially a comment if you guys like the video. And tell me if you have got the set. And subscribe for more videos and reviews. And next one, we're going to do some Roblox gaming in a minute. So stay tuned, guys. Bye bye. I'm Spider Man 2099. I'm the Rhino! Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.